Welcome to another Empires and Puzzles Books Raid Tournament Sneak Peek Preview Video. Each week on Friday or Saturday I'll provide these videos to let you know which tournament is arriving Sunday. In this video I'm going to share this week's tournament, discuss defense strategies, share the winning defense team from the last time we had this tournament, and lastly I'll give some insight into the defense team that I'll be utilizing. So let's jump in and check out this week's event. We're looking at a four star bloody battle with no fire heroes. As this event is a bloody battle tournament, that means no healing or resurrecting. This includes any hero that adds health or regenerates HP. There's one small trick around the no healing, and that's by using heroes that summon minions. Minions are basically meat shields that can absorb damage which protects our heroes. Since minions can typically be summoned over and over again, it's like adding some level of healing as they keep introducing more and more HP into the battlefield. That said, this might be a good time to consider using heroes that summon minions. As this is a 4 star event, there's only one hero that directly summons minions and that is Buddy. And we're going to be talking a lot about Buddy today. As Buddy is an excellent defense down hero, he's also nature which will be strong in this event since there's no fire. He will be an ideal choice for this tournament. In fact, I might be running two Buddies. Although Buddy is the only 4 star that provides minions from specials, there's other ways to summon minions. Jot, who is from the Jotunheim realm, calls up ice giant minions for all allies when he's killed. It's an unfortunate way to pull a minion up, but it is an effective way to get a minion on the board. We can also sneak minions in through any emblemed druid class hero. For the 4s, that list includes 6 heroes four of which are nature, which might be a good choice for this event since there's no fire. They are Cadman, Gadiris, Gobbler, and Melendor. I'm not showing Gadiris or Melendor here since they're both healers, and they're not going to be as effective in this event since it's a bloody battle. Cadman is a very strong option though. He is fast sniper, he removes buffs, well worth considering. Gobbler, I'm never really excited about using Gobbler anywhere, but he is realistically an option. Uh, if, you, if you're limited on roster space and you want to get a Druid in there, not highly recommending it, but he exists. The other two that are Druids in fours that are not nature are Costume Sonya and Gullenbursty. Gully is not a great option because his big ticket special is his ability to overheal, and that's not going to do anything in this event. But Costume Sonya, she is a, a terrific option. She's fast sniper and removes ailments. In fact, I could see a setup where you have a buddy tank with a Costume Sonya and a Cadman on the wings to remove ailments and buffs. That might be worth considering. Let's look at some specials that might be helpful for us in this bloody battle. I would recommend considering the heroes that offer perfect repost, that counterattack. That would be Boral and Cyprian. They both attack with counterattack with 125% of the damage received from themselves and their two nearby allies. So that's a good way of giving some of the damage back in the attack. Another way to avoid getting damage in the first place is by dodging. And Costume Little John is I believe the only four star that offers dodge. If you know of another one, please post it in the comments. I'm not a huge fan of Little John, especially for a bloody battle since his health and defense numbers are not super great but maybe if you've done amazing things with emblem to beef him up that dodge might come in handy this week now for a bloody battle I typically recommend considering any hero that increases your team's defense and or their mana generation but most of the four stars that do that are either fire and not available this week or they're also healers and not ideal so there are going to be a few that we're going to want to talk about here, and that is going to definitely be Proteus and Laiju, who are the king and queen of mana generation negative effects for the enemy. Proteus completely eliminates their ability to gain mana for three turns, for at least three of the enemies, and Laiju, depending on if you use costume or the regular, she's going to whack their, their mana down by either 10 or 20 percent, which is a great way to control the enemy's mana and ability to use their specials. Two other heroes worth considering for 
inhibiting the enemy's mana would be Hansel and Gretel. They both uh, take away a bunch of the HP of the enemy if they get to full mana, and they reduce the mana by 50%. So they can be pretty interesting heroes to use for this event as well. If we're looking at enemies that reduce, excuse me, if we're looking at heroes that reduce the enemy's attack, the best option this week, again, is going to be Buddy. He's really terrific. He's going to summon minions, reduce the defense, and the attack of the enemy for three turns. He's really a powerhouse for this event. We're going to be talking much more about Buddy as we go through, but I, I sure hope you have Buddy and have him leveled. If not, you have a chance to pull Buddy next month when the, the Christmas holiday season events come around. Other defense down heroes that are worth considering, definitely Almer for this week. Why? Almer has the coveted elemental defense down for attacks from nature heroes, so that will stack with Buddy. So you can actually put two defense down here on to the enemy heroes. Next we have Mist, who is very unique, because she defense downs for special attacks, which is a different icon than both Almer and Buddy, which means we can actually stack all three of those. And then there's Tibertus, uh, who um, does regular defense down. I don't have him pictured here, but Grim has the same special as Tibertus, so he would also be an option for this week. Two other things worth considering in a bloody battle is how stout our heroes are. If we use heroes with high defense and high health, they can absorb more damage before they die. Speed is also important. We're most likely to be taking some amount of damage every single turn, so time is of the essence. Looking at the past winners of this Bloody Battle No Fire event, there was not a single slow hero in the top five, so we're definitely going to want some fast and average speed heroes, or very fast. Let's check out the winning team from the last time we had this event. Their team power was 3779 and featured these heroes from left to right. So these are my heroes, not theirs. They're, like I said, their team power was above 3,700. But they had Buddy on tank, which is no surprise, Double Cadmans, Wukong, and Merlin. Like I said, Buddy is no surprise in tank. In fact, Buddy was the tank for every single team in the top five last time. Cadman, as we discussed, is strong, fast sniper, and deep buffs, so well worth having on your team. Merlin, I didn't mention earlier, but he is also great for controlling mana because he gives that mindless attack. They still allow the enemy to build full mana, but when they do, they attack their own. And there are definitely some players that say Wukong does not belong on a defense team, but I'm going to bet the winner of this last event would say otherwise. He is an interesting choice, especially for a bloody battle. You're increasing that attack, that damage by so much with the slight risk of uh, the occasional miss. Alright, let's take a look now at the team that I'm going to be running. I am going all in on defense down. Buddy, as I mentioned, is an obvious choice for tank for many reasons. As this event is no fire, nature is going to be the strongest tank. As mentioned, Buddy summons minions, which is kind of acts like a healer. He reduces the enemy attack, gives them defense down, which are really important in a bloody battle. And he also has a decent hit on three enemies. There is another great reason to use Buddy for tank. A number that I often look at to determine tank ability is doubling the defense stat and adding it to the health stat. In general, defense is twice as valuable as health, that's why I use that math. When we look at that number for all 73 currently available 4 stars, Buddy is number 7 on that list. There are only 6 that have a higher number than Buddy. Two of those are both versions of Boral with and without costume, and the other two of the others are both versions of Kashrek. So there really is only four heroes that have higher defense, double defense plus health than Buddy. The other two would be Bold Tusk, who's not available this week because he's fire, and you wouldn't want him anyway because he's a healer. And the last one would be Jabber. So considering all of Buddy's strengths, I'm going to run two copies of him. I realize that putting them next to each other leaves one hero without minions, but the only way to cover them all is to double flank Buddy, and I don't want to do that because I really want Buddy as a tank. And frankly, with this setup, I'm kind of excited that the two Buddies will build up minions quicker on the tank, so I'm hoping that will be defensively logical. I'm going to be running Almer for his elemental defense down and Mist for her special defense down, and Mist also, I forgot to mention that earlier, Mist also helps control the mana of the enemy. 
So basically when all of these folks fire, Mist, Almer, and either of the buddies, there's going to be three defense downs potentially on a single enemy hero. So the last person I have there is Cadman for his fast sniping. One of those heroes has three defense downs and gets hit by Cadman. It's going to be nights out for them. So what do you think of my team? Put the critique and suggestions down in the comments. I'm always interested to hear your comments. How about your team? What are you going to be running this week? Feel free to share your team in the comments below so myself and other viewers can give you feedback on your setup. For this week's tournament, I hope your defenses are sturdy, attack strong, and the tiles fortunate. Thanks for watching.